Guys, this game is free to play, but it is a lot of fun. So don't forget to click the link in the description if you do like this video so that you can get a free tank or aircraft and three days of premium account time using that special link. Damn guys, why do I keep losing in this game? Everyone is better than me. This sucks man, what can I do? Hello guys and welcome to another game of War Thunder. So I've been learning a lot. That last video I did was definitely not representative of what War Thunder really is about because I was just completely clueless. I was, not, I was just flying around like a nut job going from target to target, not even using my brain. But this is what they call realistic mode. And that's where basically you want to be playing all the time. It's so much more different to arcade, which is the version that I was playing in the last video. And so I've been learning so much about aerial combat, you know, real tactics and each plane has its own strength which is really interesting so you've got to figure out what the plane is good for and how to use it which means Google is your best friend so this right here this is the P36G and I read online that it's good for a tactic called boom and zoom so we're gonna try that check this out guys this is uh, this is Wake Island this, this is supposed to be a realistic battle so this is uh, Operation Wake Island does that mean I'm fighting the Japs I don't know we'll find out I mean, you would imagine. I mean, what is a D3A1? Is that a jack plane? So, boom and zoom. The idea behind this tactic is to climb as high as possible at the start, you know, gain altitude. And altitude in all aerial combat, altitude is potential energy. And you can convert your potential energy into real energy. And the rule of thumb is whoever has the most energy in a fight will win. And that is just in all dogfight scenarios. So, the idea is if you can store up loads of potential energy, then you have a huge potential to win a dogfight. Now, that's what we're doing right now. We're trying to climb. And if I kept going forward there, I would have just been wrecked by these guys because I'm lower than them. I'm a lower altitude. And the rule is, if you're a lower altitude, not only am I obviously outnumbered, that's probably the main thing, right? But I'm a lower altitude than all of them. So I'm supposedly not supposed to ever win anything there because the odds are stacked against me. Now, we're trying to build up some energy here. And boom and zoom, the idea is you have a plane which can go at a high speed and retain the energy so that you can convert it back into altitude by climbing out of your dive after you've dived. And that, so sometimes a plane is good at retaining its energy so that it can do that. And Google tells me this plane is good at boom and zoom, so we're going to try it out. Look, at it. I've never played this map, Wake Island. It looks pretty cool. I know so many of you War Thunder experts. There's definitely a good number of you watching my videos now I think but a lot of people won't know this stuff I mean I didn't really know it that well myself I've had to learn so much more about all aerial combat tactics in so much more depth we're gonna try and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna try and boom and zoom on these guys look th that's some sort of maybe we'll go for this guy supposedly this plane is actually quite maneuverable with some speed as well so we're gonna we're gaining speed as we're as we're diving here. You'll notice, and we should be closing on this guy, but it's hard, man. We're not closing. This guy's got some speed himself. We are really not closing. I'm gonna pull out of this. Okay. <laughs> so whatever that is, he's obviously really heavy plane, and he's dived a bit, and he's going really fast. He's he's running away with loads of speed, and I couldn't gain the same speed by diving. So. I'm just going to leave him to it. I've converted some of my dive back into energy. I mean, back into altitude. So, let's see what we can do. This guy is kind of the same altitude. I'm screwed. Woo! We got a kill with a head-on. Not quite any special aerial tactics going on there. <laughs> but at least we got the kill, man. 
a kill is quite hard in realistic mode, guys. I've been getting wrecked a lot, let me tell you. Alright, let's see if we can uh, dive on this guy. He's trying to do some sort of getaway. We'll pick up some speed and catch up with him. Oh no. Woo! Critical hit. I'm just going to dive out of this because I'm not confident. They say the Japanese fighters are the best turning planes in the game. Oh my god, I'm being hunted. I'm trying to dive here, gain some speed because I'm, someone's hunting me here. Woo! He's after me. My, I'm screwed if he's a better... If he's a better boom and zoom aircraft, I'm screwed. I'm trying to do some dodging here. No, he's much better. I need to counter this guy. How do I counter him? I think my advantage is I've got maneuverability with speed. Something I read online. Let's see if that's true. Where is he? Yeah, I seem to be doing all right. And I got the backup there as well. Nice one. Thank you, team. Thank you, team. Look at that. We've got three guys in the air saving my ass. And I've taken damage. You can see in the bottom left. My plane image has taken a lot of damage. Come on, man. Let's dive on this guy. He's, he's smoking up. We're going to try and steal the kill. Ah, oh, we missed. We missed. We missed. He's still going, though. Let's do a loop and get him. Here we go, here we go. Woo! Beautiful! <laughs> oh, I love it. I do love it. And let me tell you guys, it's hard, man, to get kills in realistic mode. So I'm very pleased with my performance. Even though so many of you professional War Thunder players who are seasoned will be cringing at my amateur maneuvers, I'm sure. But I'm learning here, guys. You know, in Battlefield, you've never had to do these tactics of, you know... All these special tactics. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm kind of in autopilot. I've dived a bit. I'm trying to turn and dive. It's not not really a smart move, I don't think. I've got low speed. We found a hit. He's smoking up. I've engaged some combat flaps. I understand in this game that... It'll help you turn better if you uh, engage your combat flaps at a low speed. And then we'll disengage now because we're in a straight line and high speed. Ah, oh, yes, we found another hit. Come on, man. Combat flaps engaged. What's he doing? What's he doing? We've got to help our boy. We couldn't help him. Woo! Critical! <laughs> oh, he almost crashed into the water. I've had a critical hit. I think that's... I think that's quite a significant amount of damage. I think I'm low as well. I haven't had a chance to look at the top left for my ammo. There we go. Ah, oh, we've only got 500 rounds. We've lost our high caliber... ...ammo. Oh, man. Oh, that's not good. We've got someone on our six. Combat flaps. What can I do? What can I do? Oh no, he's a heavy, he's a heavy plane, and he's at a low altitude, low speed, so let's see if we can dive away from him. Oh, I can't pull up! <laughs> oh man! Oh man. Guys, let me know in the comments, you seasoned guys of my uh, commentary, how far off am I from actually playing well in this game? I don't know. I do not know, but three kills. I'm happy with three kills. Okay, guys, so that was the American P-36G we just tried, but let's go over to the German team and fly our BF-109. BF-109 is a plane which is notorious for its ability to do boom and zoom tactics. And I'm seeing the BF-109 in every game I play. Everyone seems to choose it. Everyone's doing boom and zoom with the BF-109, it seems. Now, we do start on an airfield in realistic mode, which means plane characteristics are so important. So if a plane is good at climbing, then you'll have that altitude advantage when you actually meet in the middle of the map. You've really got to use every plane to its advantage in this game. It's so cool. Right, let's do this. We've climbed. We're just trying to climb as high as we can. Two more BF-109s. Look how many BF-109s there are on the map. There's three in front of me. Everyone loves choosing BF-109s. One behind me, one on the left. Everyone does it. Here we go. Let's help this, let's help this BF-109 out. Oh man, he's smoking up. He's down. Now the Spitfire is really good at turn fighting. That's its advantage. 
Oh my god. I've lost. I've lost mobility. How do I get home? I need to get home and repair. Oh my god. There we go. We're back in control of the plane. Let's stay at a high speed. Oh, we have to dive and get some more speed because someone's on our six. It's the, it's the Spitfire that just did that to us. We should be able to outrun it if we dive. Although we are very injured. So that might not be the case. We're just trying to dive here. He's keeping up with us. Come on, Nick. Convert your energy into speed. Here we go. Oh, crap. I might not pull up with my broken wings. And then just run at this high speed at low altitude. I am not maintaining my speed very well. But I'm... See? I'm gaining distance from him and he's at a higher altitude. He cannot keep up. That's the advantage of the BF-109 right now. I can just boom and run is what it called. Like he's trying to come after me, but he's even out of visual range. He's really trying to get me. He's going to follow me back to base. Ah, oh, you little cheeky bastard, man. Look, he's still there. He hasn't got... He's not showing up on the HUD because he's out of visual range, but he's definitely in pursuit. He's definitely in pursuit. I mean, it's very obvious with my smoke where I am, so I'm just going to play with him. With my yellow smoke. Oh, he's coming back into range. So I'm supposedly a better climber, even though... Nah, my engine won't be able to handle it, Nick. My only hope is to run to my anti-air. Come on. I can't believe this guy is really in pursuit on me. Oh my god, let's let's get some speed. Let's go, man. My oil and water is at a high temperature and it's leaking, which means there's no way my engine will have the power to take me to altitude and outrun the Spitfire. You can see how my plane is angled, that I'm severely injured and not very aerodynamic at all. Look, it can't go in a straight line. <laughs> no, oh he's, oh, he's shooting at me. I'm in his... I'm in range for him to shoot. He, I mean, it's a straight line, so... It's really hard to shoot someone at one kilometer. He is one kilometer away. But, being that I'm in a straight line dead ahead, he's managing it. Look, he's closing distance. I have to get to my anti-air guns. And I'm not going to slow down. I am going to go full speed past the airfield. I do want to land and repair, but there's no time right now. He's going to kill me if I try and land right now. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> Come on, take him out, dude. You got this. Yeah! Oh, he's trying to get the kill before he gets killed. He's not happy he's being shot at. See you later, buddy. Should we actually try and get him now? Oh, I cannot turn to save my life. There's no way I can turn back into him. How am I going to turn onto my airstrip? Come on, pull up, Nick. Oh, my God. Oh, how do I turn onto my airstrip? Does engaging flaps help me turn? No, pull up, Nick. Oh, my God. Well, let's get ready for a dive here. I'd rather dive on this guy than those that other cluster of enemies because... This guy's on his own. And that cluster will have me outnumbered. And if there's one thing I've learned is don't let yourself be outnumbered. This guy's about to get wrecked. <laughs> I'm really diving and closing. Closing on him. Woo! We got him, boys. We got him. And we got so much speed that we can just climb out of this. And that is Boom and Zoom, guys. That right there is Boom and Zoom. It could have been maybe executed a bit better because... I'm not sure my angle of attack was very good. But this guy's trying to get away. Let's do it again. Now, with my boom and zoom, he shouldn't be able to get away, right? Because I've got the altitude advantage. And this guy won't keep up. Because of the speed I'm about to get by converting my altitude and speed. Let's do this. Look, see you later, buddy. You can keep trying, mate. It's about to be two kilometers away. Ah, uh, he's got some ground forces as backup, though. But look how I'm closing on him. 700 meters, 600 meters. It's about to happen. Your death is incoming. Oh, too much speed. I couldn't pull up, but he's smoking. He is smoking. Oh, dear. He has not got the airspeed to, to pull up. Yep. As I expected. I will just turn. Into him. And we'll pick up speed as we dive again. <laughs> I love this. I love these tactics that have... I love the advantage you get. Critical hit. He's almost down. 
I don't think at these lower tiers you can extinguish the fire, but you can in the higher tiers. Now this guy is coming for a fight. Oh my god, he did a lot of damage to my left wing. But friendly just took him out. This is bad stuff, guys. If I dive, I feel like I'm going to walk into something. Alright, so let's assume that F4U is about to go and chase. As long as he's a fighter, let's assume he's going to go chase this FW200 and let's dive on this. Let's dive in this cluster, see if we can pick up a kill. Well, that P40 is closing real fast on me. I think I've dived way too soon here. I think uh, I'm going to bleed a lot of my speed before I get there. Oh no, this guy's going to have me in range. Oh, we're going to really sneak up on this, this bow fighter guy. Yes. We are going to sneak up on him. And then I've got to be careful because there's going to be loads of enemies above. Oh, this is not good. We found a kill and we only took minor damage. Alright, we're picking up some speed here. We're getting real fast. What's that Spitfire doing? He's heading over to the left cluster. So this guy's kind of on his own. What's he doing? Has he landed? I think he's landed. What in the world? So we can either go and kill that isolated Spitfire or protect... Back up the other one who's, in, who's being chased right now by that Spitfire. Spitfire over there. Oh, he's being chased by two guys. Alright, let's quickly kill this guy. And then change targets. Where's he going? He doesn't even know I'm on him or what? He must know. He doesn't know, does he? <laughs> I love tap firing and preserving ammo. It's somehow more accurate. I do enjoy it. We're not really going as fast as you can normally go with this BF-109. Purely because of the damage I've taken. If I miss the Spitfire and if he turns away from me, I'm definitely going to have to run straight back to base because he'll beat me otherwise. Did I get him? I've done a critical hit. I'm going to try and dive back into him. Why isn't he escaping? He must have lost all motor functions here. Yeah, he really is struggling to turn. That is a slow turn for a Spitfire. I should not be able to outturn him. So he's taken so much damage. There we go. Right, let's get back to base. Woo! Mission success, boys. There's no way I'm going to go back and fight until we get the repairs because I'm not going to be able to climb effectively. Guys, don't forget, it's free to play. So try the game yourselves. If you haven't tried it yet, there's a link in the description and that link gives you special bonuses. You get a free premium tank or aircraft and three days of premium account time as a bonus using that link so try the game out guys it was a lot of fun